I'm Judy. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> so it's our favorite time of year again, Jane. It's the Toronto International Film Festival. It starts September 5th, goes to the 15th. I'm here with Jane Stevenson. Jane, you're going to be down at the red carpet. Please say hello. If you see her, bring her a gin and tonic or Chardonnay. Uh, but I'm here to ask Jane. Jane, what are your picks? Your top three picks to see at this year's well, film fest. My first two are biopics. I've got to start with Judy. Uh, it stars Renee Zellweger in a major comeback role for her. She plays Judy Garland in the last year of her life. It was quite sad. She was addicted to drugs and alcohol. She couldn't get hired in Hollywood. She ended up crossing the pond, starting a residency at a London, England theater where she made magic on stage every night. And I cannot wait to see her not only act, but sing in the, in the role. So she does sing. She does sing in the lead role. And apparently she does a very good job. And that's no easy feat if you think about what a great singer Judy Garland was. So I cannot wait to see this movie. And we talked to TIFF's co-head Cameron Bailey. He raved a better performance, said she'll be in the mix for Oscars next year. Jane, what's your number two? Well, number two is A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which if you've watched Mr. Rogers over the years, you know this is something he sang as he came into his house every day, put on his cardigan, put on his sneakers, and uh, he was a beloved figure, and now we have another maybe beloved figure, Tom Hanks playing Mr. Rogers, which didn't quite sit well with me at the beginning. I thought they weren't physically as similar as I thought them, I might like them to be. I thought someone like Daniel Day-Lewis come out of retirement, play Mr. Rogers. That's an Oscar, uh, like kind of guaranteed there. In any event, he's getting rave reviews for this film, and I can't wait to see it. Yeah, plus, you, like you just said, Daniel D. Lewis would have to unretire, and that's not happening. <laughs> Number three. Number three is The Joker. Just Joker. Uh, it's Todd Phillips, who did The Hangover, a series of films, and one of my all-time faves. Old school. It's Joaquin Phoenix in an origin story that has nothing to do with the comic book character. It's It sounds like kind of a comedy drama. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix got, what, an eight minutes? Yeah, the film got an eight minute standing ovation at Venice after its premiere mm -hmm. uh, last weekend. It has nothing to do with the other DC movies, so if you haven't seen Aquaman, you haven't seen Justice League, don't worry about it. However, it's very dark. Yes. It is a hard R. No kids. No kids, but I can't wait to see it. I think Joaquin Phoenix is probably one of the best actors of our generation, and I cannot wait to see what he does with this role. Yeah, and the Oscar buzz is real, folks. Believe it. If you want to read more, we have 30, 30, count them, 30 movies you need to see at the Toronto Film Festival. You can either pick up The Sun or go to our website, torontosun.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel down below.